Good morning, it's Jonathan Barrett with the uh, War Report. Uh, it's the 21st uh, of March, it's Monday, and uh, boy, what a weekend, uh, no doubt about it. And uh, the key, I guess, is Operation uh, Odyssey in Libya. Uh, the uh, coalition, uh, France, uh, the US, Britain, um, Qatar and obviously the Arab League all suggested that uh, to safeguard people, uh, citizens of Libya, that they would intervene. We saw 110 cruise missiles, uh, Tomahawk cruise missiles launched and obviously at strategic military institutions. Now there has been a backlash on that and, uh, and the Arab League have come in and says too excessive, same with Russia. So quite interesting but uh, the flip side of it is that the Libya military have actually told uh, its armed forces to uh, honour a ceasefire, so they've actually stopped straight away, and I think that is an encouraging sign. Uh, the crude prices so far haven't done too much. Um, we did open up, but then we're back down around about 101.60, so things are pretty stable at the moment. Let's hope that the initial strike is all that'll happen, and as a result of that, um, we could see um, obviously get back to some stability. That's the optimistic look at it, and um, and I think that uh, that's hopefully where we're going to end up. Anyway, we'll have to monitor it day by day. If the Libyan military do honour this ceasefire, then that and myself is, uh, is pretty good. Okay, uh, week ahead report, as we know, uh, we discussed the up and coming events and uh, of economic numbers. Also discussed some of the themes we've been following uh, for some time. Before we do that, let's have a look at uh, just a bit of an overview uh, as to uh, what, what happened uh, on the weekend, uh, just in terms of um, just, just usual stuff, uh, in terms of uh, a little bit of a review. And uh, let's just grab that now. Okay, just to get our minds right, the Dow was up, closed up quite positively, which was good, up 83 or 0.71 percent. The S&P was up, the Nasdaq was up seven. Uh, the top 50 was up six, the FTSE up 22, the CAC 24, and the DAX was up 7.52. Local share market uh, on the futures side closed down 18 at 4,629. Uh, still quite positive on that front, so still quite good. Okay, uh, now just moving on to uh, some of the other things, dollar index. Now the dollar index this morning has opened up lower and you'll be able to see this when we look at the uh, the daily chart um, that we're right on that area of concern and there you can see we've broken through that area down here. A major low there in place has been broken and I'll just try and get a little bit more work on that. You can see here that it's, it's right on that uh, support. Now it's either going to hold or we break down but these sorts of formations generally Suggest that it's it's ready for a big move, um, and and these are these are the key. I mean that that's a classic A B, uh, when A B C back it down a double, and uh, in nearly a way that's a correction there that could see quite an aggressive move to the top side. Let's see how that uh, pans out. Um, but uh, when we look at the Aussie battle there, it's 99.56 at the moment, and uh, I'll just get that more of a daily chart, and you can really see that, um, that what's going to occur there. And there we are there, there's a little Aussie battler down and still very steady in terms of what it needs to do. Let's just try and get a little bit more clarification. Um, this is this whole area here which we've talked about at length and um, I've drawn a few lines here, that's a bit of a bounce there um, and it concludes that it is in that range so expectations are I guess it just trades back in the range until we see a break below there and it'll break below there, uh, 97, so uh, that's the Aussie. Dollar yen after the intervention, it's always good to revisit it. 80.82 and dollar's slightly firmer there and uh, we've still got that long dollar yen position and uh, still quite happy just to sit with it. Uh, the good thing is we've got the central bank with us, so uh, that in itself I think is, is not too bad and uh, quite happy. Uh, so uh, let's, let's take a little bit wide to download, but you will see that uh, with that intervention um, the market's going to be very tentative about buying yen at the moment. In fact, I think they'd opt to for things to be a little bit shorter. Why is that taking a long time? I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, if it doesn't come up in a sec, uh, we'll just move on. Okay, um, so that's Dolly N. Um, let's have a look at a few of the other charts. Uh, there we are there. I'll just get that out of the way. That's the, the, the hourly chart. Um, this sort of move, pullback, it's what happens. Uh, they'll either have another go of it later, but let's see how that unfolds. Righty-ho, uh, we mentioned the Aussie, mentioned dollar. Uh, let's have a look at some of the other commodities. Um, crude, I guess, is, is the key here. Uh, 101.59.63 for the front month. Uh, we have come down, but we're very steady. We're steady given the fact that uh, Operation Odyssey is is in play, but um, the Libyan military have said that to honour the ceasefire. 
So um, that to me is a positive thing. If it doesn't, well then obviously we've got potential for crude to break up. Keep an eye on 104 and then 107. They're the two key areas. Obviously it's unfavorable to have oil around at above 107, 110, 120, but you've got to look at the facts. If in fact this does spread um, within the Gulf region, then there is an expectation. And uh, we have heard that Saudi and Iran have a little bit of a niggle at the moment. And if that escalates, well then it does become an issue. Okay, so that's crude. Uh, copper, uh, relatively steady, um, you know, and uh, I think if anything there, uh, 436, 438 is where we are trading. And uh, I think if anything there, it still remains in those ranges, but we have picked up from the low, obviously on prospects of a build um, in, uh, a build in um, or the rebuild in Japan, and that's providing support for it at the moment. Expectations are that that will continue to trade backwards up to that 450 level. Okay, good turnaround in some of the uh, grains as well, particularly wheat and soya. All good buy on dip scenario has been play, and uh, that's been that's unfolded quite nicely. So pretty comfortable about what's happened in that front. And uh, 750 break to 752. You're quite happy to add those positions uh, in wheat. So 752 uh, on wheat you can buy. And uh, when you look at uh, soybeans, um, you know break through um, that uh, 13385. Uh, that concludes the trend, but I don't like this divergence here. Probably suggests a little bit of uh, a flare back there, uh, but still, you're at the lower end of the range. When it comes down to corn, uh, relatively the same in terms of all that. Um, still looks okay, but dips back to uh, big dips back to 660, 635 can be bought. Uh, naturally, a break through um, through that uh, 700 or just below that 690, uh, you can add to positions. Um, and I think that's quite positive in terms of that. So that's uh, pretty much across the board in what we're looking at at the moment. Um, gold's guess the next one, obviously with any um, forms of unrest, it's been quite well bid, still within a range, nothing concrete to, to do in that one. But I guarantee you if the military do step down, then expectations do change quite radically. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much about it uh, in terms of that. And um, yeah, so that's about it. Now let's get on to the economic numbers of what, what's important and what's going on. Basically here, you've got um, uh, tonight, existing home sales in the States, pretty important. In fact, it's a pretty quiet week across the board except for durables out on Thursday. Um, some da data at CPA and retail in uh, the UK. But as you can see, um, not too much there in the States. Moving on to Wednesday. New home sales obviously important and Bernanke has a bit of a chat. Uh, nothing too much in Australia there. Uh, RBA's financial stability review on Thursday. In the States we've got durables, durables cap, durable goods orders, initial jobless claims continuing and the RPX compos composite. So I think that's probably the main pickings for this week to tell you the truth. And uh, as we loom into Friday, um, yeah, there's um, GDP and personal consumption. Uh, but I do think those durable orders would be that, the key there. And um, I think uh, the GDP is expected in the States to be a little bit more better bid than offered. Okay, that's about it from me. Um, I guess the main themes we've discussed at the moment, obviously, is oil, the impact of how we oil. Natural gas, we're still having a good look at it. Um, we are long natural gas in warrants. We're also long in some of the equities. So uh, quite comfortable as to, excuse me, as to what's happening there. We see natural gas as an alternative to nuclear programs. There is a, a lot of supply on it. It might take a long time for this tra trade to un you know, evolve, but in my mind it still looks uh, one that is relatively cheap. In fact, I might just quickly show you the chart so you can get a better understanding as to why we, we like natural gas so much. There we go. Just have a look. It's, it's, quite, it's a great chart. I'll give you the weekly chart. And you can see why we actually uh, favour it, because it uh, it does, it does look good. We are actually going to put a report about on that out as to uh, what's happening in Japan and what we feel could actually occur. Now, things are a little bit slow, I must admit, but uh, we're nearly there. And then we'll sign off and we'll get into the week, which I think, uh, once again, is going to provide us with a little bit of, a little bit of fun. Here we go. That's the, the weekly chart. doesn't look like a weekly chart. It looks like an hourly. Hang on, let's just go here. Okay, just uh, there we go. Yeah, that's 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 the chart we're looking at. And as you can see, these type of movements there just feel as if we're ready for a break to the top side. I'll get that weekly, probably a little bit better. 
and then you can really start to, to get into it. Uh, we will be putting out a report on natural gas. There we go, look at that. And I ain't look bullish, I don't know what is. So uh, we think you can do is you can pack your bag on that one. I think it's going to be a great trade. Okay, um, well, that's, uh, that's, about, um, that's about it from us. Let's try and get me back. That's about it from us. Hope everyone has a great week. It's going to be fun. Natural gas is one of the ones we're looking at at the moment. So uh, run with that one and uh, have a great week. And we'll, we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.